Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have one of our favorite monthly lifestyle boxes to share with you. It has been sent to me for review and it is the amazing Hermine box which always has this lovely box that they have in all different sizes depending on the contents. I just think it is a really fun box, really well curated by mother and daughter duo Pam and Trudy. The box is $49.95 per month. That does include the shipping and of course I have a link and a code for you. It's simply Noelle 10 and that will save you 10% on your first box. It always promises five to eight beautiful lifestyle items and they do work with predominantly female owned businesses which you know we love. So thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I know a lot of us are getting ready for the Thanksgiving festivities so if you're doing any last minute shopping or doing some uh, early cooking thanks for letting me be a part of your day. Let's go ahead and get into this box. Ooh, it's a little bit stiff. It's kind of packed full this time around and I was kind of excited to see one of the larger boxes. Not that it means bigger is better, just you know sometimes it's fun to get uh, sort of different items instead of lots of little like bath and body and accessory items. So inside, yes, it already kind of sprung open a little bit when I opened it up. They kind of had to use a little extra tape instead of just the usual this was packed for you by Pam sticker. And we have our theme of course for the month which is naturally thankful and it says you are amazing and let me just uh make her her chest my own thank you all so much for being here you are amazing you really make uh this channel so much fun for me i had no idea when i started it three years ago that i would be still doing videos for you or every day or twice a day like i am right now but it's really just become such a joy and i do really appreciate all of your support it says on the back Noelle, you are truly amazing. We hope you take some time to pamper yourself and enjoy all your self-care goodies. You deserve it. And then they did hand sign it, Pam and Trudy. So let's get into my lovely box that was, of course, hand-packed for me by Pam this time around. So let's see, yes, everything, now I won't be able to uh, pack everything back in because everything kind of puffed up. And you guys, there is a familiar item in there that we have gotten in lots of boxes. It's always one that I love to see because it is so perfect for the fall and winter months. And for some of you, it's good for a lot of the months of the year, like half the year. So here is our booklet that again has that same image of someone showing thanks. I love the tradition. I know sometimes it can be a little bit mentally taxing, a little bit stressful to come up with a wise words at the dinner table and say what you're thankful for but I think it's always the best when it comes from the heart. Now on the back they always do an exclusive theme reveal so before we get into the box itself let's talk about that. It says for December our theme reveal it says tis the season to reflect and celebrate. We're so excited to close the year with you keeping self-care and self-love in your everyday routine. We can't wait for you to try the items we've selected just for you so I'm excited. I guess it's to celebrate. I guess maybe reflect and celebrate which is definitely something that's important to do honestly at the end of every day but definitely at the end of the year before we get into the new one all right so inside you can see they do such a beautiful job of doing different pages for every category kind of uh, categorizing it in a fun way so it's not only comfort but it's also warm or it's not only hydrate but it's also moisten so you can kind of guess what the item might happen to be and then they tell us all about the makers when appropriate which I like Sometimes they don't necessarily have a lot of information if it's kind of a bigger company, but that's totally fine. I do like to read those little blurbs to you because I think it's really nice to know about the stories, the people behind the products that we get. So it looks to me like this time around we have got five items, which makes sense, right? Sometimes when we have a bigger box, we might have some larger items with higher values, but still beautiful. We do have a little page on the inside back cover that says today I am grateful for, just like one pager gratitude journaling. And of course, a lovely quote that says, gratitude helps you to grow and expand. Gratitude brings joy and laughter into your life and to the lives of all of those around you. So I always used to say when I used to teach my yoga classes on Thanksgiving day, because I did like to be 
a big part of my yoga studio community in that way for many, many years. I always like to tell people to think about not only the first part of the word Thanksgiving, but also the second part, which is the giving and giving back and letting it all come full circle. So maybe in your gratitude practice, you can think about how you can give back, how you can pay it forward this year to someone else. And I think that's what really promotes that kindness and love and all of the things that we're really celebrating with this holiday. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and have this propped open in front of me so I can tell you all about it. Let's look at the uh, elephant in the room, the uh, scarf in the box, which is, of course, from All You Need Is Love. And if I've seen it in three different colorways. Most of the time it comes in the gray one or in this lovely colorway, which has so many beautiful, almost like a muted sunset. That's what I kind of think of this scarf as. It has the nice big chunky tassels, of course. And then it does have that sort of ombre gradient where you get some stripes here from this lovely cream to sort of an orangey peach into this more um, mauve color. So really, really soft, really luxurious, very wide and chunky. So for me personally, living in Southern California, it's very rare that I need a scarf like this that's really gonna like kind of puff up all around my ears and get me super cozy. Definitely if I'm going on a little winter wonderland getaway, which I'm hoping to do, for the new year, fingers crossed. It's gonna be a little surprise for my husband, so shh. But um, it's uh, very great for that, but it also is big enough to be sort of a blanket. So I kind of like it for going out to dinner because yes, we still have restaurants here in San Diego where it's outdoor dining. They have the nice heaters, but sometimes it's nice to have something like this where I don't like to have a scarf around me when I'm actually eating, but to have it as a little blanket across my lap makes a huge difference so it's really really great for that so it says we love how soft and plush this scarf is imagine wrapping it around you on a chilly day we hope you enjoy it as much as we do so this is probably makes probably a dozen maybe a baker's dozen of the times that i've gotten this scarf in the past three years but again i love it it is such a fantastic gift to uh pass on to someone else i think i have a gray one i'm not sure if i held on to it in this colorway so i might have to do that but just a little close up you guys so you can see that that lovely super soft knit that we've got with this beautiful scarf so let me put that off to the side because now we've got some other fun things to take a look at let's see Ooh, we've got a couple of things from JNL naturals which you guys know we love that brand we've gotten in a lot of different boxes they are so awesome I'm glad to be able to read to you a little bit about them so we have a cognac sponge for natural exfoliation and it says cherry blossom I don't know if that's just the color or maybe it even has a scent let me see I think it's just um, I don't know we'll have to read so it says our biodegradable cognac sponges are made from natural cognac root to gently slough away excess oil dirt and dead skin cells even from the most sensitive skin use on its own or use with your favorite cleanser to reveal a silky smooth glow so of course it does have this little string which is nice so that you can hang it to dry and as you can see it's just this little dome shape it kind of looks like a puff of suds but it's actually a little bit stiff when you start and then you can just soften it up in the shower or in your bath and then use it. I love cognac sponges. Now I don't usually use it with any sort of cleanser, but it really does leave my skin feeling nice and smooth. Don't overuse it too much. It says choose between aloe vera for dry skin. Ooh, that would have been good. Cherry blossom for dull skin. I'll take that. I'll be a little shinier instead of dull. Um, green tea for acne prone skin or green mint for oily combination skin. So a lot of those would have worked for me honestly. Um, let's see the other item that we got from JNL before I read to you about the company. So this one also came in a little box. So their um, slogan is simple, exceptional, always ethical. So S-E-A right there. So this is their face mask in shine. It says, put your freshest face forward. Their face masks are designed to target specific skin concerns, whether you're looking to restore balance for oily skin, calm stress skin, hydrate parched skin, and more. Packed with nourishing butters, clays, and natural exfoliants, these masks will leave you with a clear, smooth complexion. Think of it like a spa day at home. So now I turned the box upside down, you guys, and um, a little bit of it spilled out because they do use these natural packages. So it didn't have like a super strong seal. So I have a little bit of a face mask on my lap right now, which means that it is a dry powder face mask that you have to mix up so of course you can use all kinds of different moisture like sometimes you can use um, sometimes people use olive oil or honey or of course you can just use water so it's bentonite clay cowling clay beetroot powder and orange peel powder so 
all things you can pronounce, all things that you know what they are. Um, I'm trying to see where it has some like directions. It does have a little scooper in here, which is always nice. I always love little like spoons and stuff to kind of give you a little, um, makes it easier and it does have the directions on the side mix one scoop of face mask with one scoop of water to desired consistency so you can do more or less apply to your face rinse mask off after 10 to 20 minutes if skin is sensitive reduce the time until inflammation does not occur or irritation so only mix enough for single use discard any leftover mask store in a cool dry place so i am really bad still you guys about mixing up my dry face masks but that is definitely one of the things that i would like to do in the new year I have found that I can't use too many um, different things on my face. It just kind of irritates my skin, kind of flares up my rosacea, but all natural things like this are definitely okay, and I just have to use them to um, like a minimal degree, but I don't mind. I just need to make it a little bit more of a, a weekly practice, maybe not a daily practice. So let's read about them says Jen and Laith are the owners. Jen got tired of dealing with chronic acne for 15 years after countless failed attempts to improve my condition using commercial antibiotics and topicals. She felt devastated and tried to try less conventional methods. So we're kind of going back and forth between the first person and the third person. She fell down a rabbit hole of learning about natural healing. She gained a deep understanding of her condition and how certain natural ingredients could affect it. She ended up trying, to, trying a natural face salve and lo and behold, it worked better than anything she had ever tried before. Faith developed a rash on his underarms from deodorants made with harsh chemicals, which worked like a miracle. Um, so I think we left out a section. So then they he found something that worked like a miracle instead of using the deodorants that were causing that rash. And then that was their light bulb moment. So a little editing that uh, changed the meaning there a little bit, but that's okay. I think we got the gist. They both had issues and they both found clean natural alter alternatives. And that is how JNL happened. All right. So, but now we know what the J and the, the L stand for, right? Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. So let me just, I forgot to tell you, I gave you the samples in the beginning that it was comfort and warm for the scarf and obviously hydrate and moisten for those uh, skincare products. Now we have something for the holiday season. I have to get my little, uh, I have to see, it did get a little bit dusty from our mix, from our face mask, but let me just kind of clean this off. Maybe I won't open it up quite yet. It is in the relax and soothe section. This is interesting. So there's two pages that are relax and soothe, but these don't necessarily seem like soothing to me. Maybe they are. Let's see. Maybe that just didn't get changed. This is the Joy Craft Cocoa Signature Hot Cocoa. It's five ounces and it comes in this lovely little black tin. Super cute if you have like a little hot cocoa station or coffee station in your home. Indulge in a luxurious cup of hot cocoa made with a blend of four cocos. Each reusable tin comes with enough cocoa for three cups, it says add three tablespoons of cocoa to six ounces of boiling water for a rich cup of cocoa make with your favorite milk of choice instead of water. So I actually thought this would make way more, but they're saying, you know, three cups, which I guess those are like nice, big, indulgent mugs of hot cocoa, which is really how it should be, right? So let's see what it says about Saida, the owner of the Marshmallow of the Month Club, which is another um, subscription box. And uh, I actually heard from her, I think they were doing some fun stuff. Uh, they were doing like subscription box owner like meetups and everything and she has a really cool subscription box that you guys might want to check out if you love marshmallows so it says after a career change in completing culinary school i entered the culinary world to become a formidable pastry chef and then switching to third person she made the leap into teaching as her curriculum evolved it became more about educating students about entrepreneurship through their culinary gifts eventually this made her want to explore rebuilding her brand successfully in an effort to come back to education and say okay this is how we do it right today she is the proud owner owner of the Marshmallow of the Month Club. So I think I need to go into a subscription box insert editing business because as you guys know, one of my other side jobs is that I edit all kinds of copy and that's like what I do to pay the bills. But let's go ahead and see our final item, I believe, which is very cute because I guess this does make it relax and soothe as well. So we got some hot cocoa. And of course, what do you need? You know, we did hear about the Marshmallow of the Month Club. We need something marshmallow. They didn't actually send us marshmallows, but they did send us something so essential for this season, which is a candle. So this is our uh, collab, it looks like, with, of course, Vanessa and Ivy of Ives and Bees, which they always make an appearance in Hermine boxes. And they've done a lot of collabs with Pam and Trudy, which is fun. 
And Pam and Trudy do a lot of their own products as well, which I think is like something they do together to add to the box and kind of makes it a little bit more personal, I guess. So it says thankful. So of course it goes along with our theme and you can see a nice charred marshmallow. That's how I like my marshmallows. You guys let me know in the comments below how you like your marshmallows. I like mine to get almost a little bit burnt on the outside in all honesty. So the scent is toasted and sweet marshmallow, a nostalgic scent that will make you relive memories of cool autumn nights by a campfire, toasting gooey sweet marshmallows. The fragrance notes are whipped cream, flush, fluffy marshmallow, sugar crystals, middle notes, buttercream, heliotrope, and Madagascar vanilla, and base tonka bean, brown sugar, and creamy musk. So I'm glad there's a little heliotrope in there. It sounds like it's gonna be one of those really sweet baked good scents, which can be a little intense for me personally. I have to uh, burn them in small small um, doses like I can't have them burning all day like I can with some of my fresher scents but let's go ahead and smell it I can actually smell it and I haven't even opened it yet so yes it is definitely wow that really smells like opening a bag of marshmallows which I know a lot of you are doing to put on top of your roasted yams and casseroles it's read about uh, Vanessa and Ivy as always it's always a little bit of a different paragraph let's see if it's different this time around it says they are a small family-owned business founded by two sisters Vanessa and Ivy Ives and Bees was born out of our belief in the benefits of natural products and our desire to make them accessible to more people they handcraft natural products using only non-harmful ingredients for our bodies and our planet so yeah yeah, we went from third person into uh, the single first person all in all in one uh, sentence so I'm sorry you guys it's just the editor and me I'm such a brat all right let's just go over all of the fun things that we got in this lovely Hermine box for November we got of course for comfort and warm our lovely all you need is love scarf in a beautiful colorway which is going to look great fall winter and even into spring if you live somewhere where it stays cold we got our nice face mask which is a uh, kind of dusting the air here that's why i'm uh, about to uh, cough as well as our cherry blossom cognac sponge i'm wondering how that's like infused into the cognac sponge to help with dull skin and both of those of course from jnl naturals and then of course to round everything out we got some hot cocoa from joycraft cocoa and this actual item came from uh saida of marshmallow of the month club and to go with our hot cocoa we got marshmallows but in the form of a candle from ives and bees which is lovely that's probably my favorite item even though it is a little sweet for me i just think it kind of adds to the ambiance of any get together guys let me know what you thought about this box in the comments below and thank you again so much for being here i would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and i'll see you soon in my next unboxing